Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone. We're in our previous episode. Our adventures made it to Sillsby, and half of them went to the exchange to get diamonds to revive the kid of Vranches, and the other half went to Isadora's, the healer, one of the healers in Sillsby, to get the king revived there. Uh, so I will start off with, uh, Ryan and Blaze, who are in the exchange. Let's touch that door. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a wall. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't understand you with your accent. Uh, <laughs> Alright, anyway. Classic joke to start us off. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, it, and did you notice that this, the wall that they walked through was in, like, a, a section that not a lot of people were in and was kind of shaded and almost hidden, kind of. Okay, before we touch it, I would like to make an arcana check. Okay. Um, can I make an insight check? Sure. Cool. I have plus six arcana? I have plus seven in insight. Uh, uh, 23. 16. You believe this is some some kind of magic that's making it so that a passageway looks like it's just a wall. Oh. And you, Blaze, since you did an arcana check, you know that it's magic that makes it so that it looks like a wall. So we came to the same conclusion. Great minds think alike. Uh, and uh, I turn, I'll see you on the other side. And I touch the wall. Wow. <laughs> that was okay. cool. Do you walk through or do you like just touch it? Well, if the guy just touched it and he disappeared. No, the guy touched it and whatever you touched it was like oh. going invisible. I so stand there for a few seconds and I'm like... Oh, right, <laughs> obviously. I look uh, at you while you're doing that, and then I just, like, shake my head and walk through the... One walk small through. step for tabaxi, one giant leap for tabaxi, and I step through the wall. Okay, uh, as you step through this passageway, on the other side, you see that it's a dimly lit hallway that eventually, after a few meters, leads to stairs that go downwards. Listen, Rod. I'm really glad we went through that wall together, but I feel like we're about to enter a whole new storyline that we aren't ready for. You also hear a lot of noise from, like, talking and some shouting, and also some fighting down the stairs. That sounds interesting. We should go check it out. You know, for a guy who loves kids, you, you really want to go to a fight club? You said it was an orphan fight club. <laughs> I didn't say it was orphan, I just meant... Or a kid's fight club. Uh, uh, what does that have to do with that? I you as a fight club guy. Who said I'm going to watch and have fun? All right, fine. Fuck it. Let's go let's down. Get, let's just let's go check it. it out. Why not? Check it out. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Can we please cut that? Yeah, so you walk down these stairs, and as you walk down, they like creak really loudly, and they seem to be really, really old stairs, as if they've been there for a long time. And when you go, when you get to the bottom, it opens up to a hallway to a door, and then there's stuff on the other side of the door, of course. Uh, I open the door. On the other side of the door, you find a large room that expands further than you can actually see yourself right now. Okay. And you see a lot of shit, so do a perception check. <laughs> cool. I've seen some shit, man. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20! 15. Whoa, name drop. <laughs> I think I've said that almost every time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's yeah. a good joke. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It wasn't <laughs> funny the first time. And then stop rolling nat 20s. <laughs> I haven't yet. Yeah, so Duncan, the first thing that you see is... Uh, you do see a few rings where people are fighting. Some, like, just hand-to-hand. -hand, some with swords, some with other weapons of different types. You also see people are taking bets on these fights. You also see a few dead people around, like, being dragged from one place to another. And as well, you see a lot of drug deals, and you also uh, see a few other, like, legal things going on. Holy shit, we're and at then, a rave! <laughs> Blaze, you see all of this, and as well, you see that Travis Daw is at the far end of the room. Ryan, we're leaving! <laughs> and you see that uh, there also seems to be a slave trade here. Some kids, some grown up people, and... Why did it say kids? Now we're not going to get to leave. <laughs> 
Right, right, we should go. We definitely have entered the place we should not have entered. Uh, Shavada's here. Uh, Where? A lot of people Where? here. Where? I, I point out Shavada. Okay. But I, but I, I, I don't point, like, discreetly. Just, uh, <laughs> just, just He's over there. Out, like, put my hand behind my shoulder and, like, and I went so it's out of you and I'm like, over there. Over there. Okay, I look and I see him. Yeah, <laughs> his fucking wave. Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, fuck! <laughs> you should go down and bet on the fights, but like, I bet 650 uh, gold coins worth of diamonds on, nice. on number two. <laughs> I, I push Ryan down. Oh I push him down. I'm like, dude, we're uh, not supposed to draw attention to ourselves. So as you look, uh, you see that Travadar did notice him waving his he head. Did? Yeah. Yeah. And he's interested. He seems interested that you guys are here, so he starts to walk towards you guys. I love this would he, guy. Would he recognize Blaze with his uh, outfit? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm dressed up. Uh, I got you. I have a zebra overcoat, a lime green bowler just, hat, and a okay. black scarf. So that would be an insight check for me, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. I would, well, not for you, for Shep. Yeah. Not. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's thanks, eight. Clay. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. <laughs> I'm just gonna make quite a mistake. Fifteen. So. That, uh, do a stealth check, I guess. Eleven. Uh, Shabadaw does recognize you. Got a fifteen. I was He's just, interested in your fashion choices. I was 100% just gonna out you anyway. Uh, can I, uh, can I, uh, can I per- perceive if he's aggressive or not? He's just uh, walking yeah, over. without even, look, like, rolling, you notice that he doesn't seem aggressive in any way. He's just walking towards you guys. I'm not. Okay. Well, this I, guy's I, dope. I, I, I help Ryan back up after pushing him. I'm like, hey, what? You push me? Like, you let no, him push me on the floor? I can hide you from your waving, but... I oh, my but God. Anyway, okay, but uh, I say, listen, don't bring up the people we helped escape, okay? Just, like, just play cool. He might not even know. Sure, man. Whatever you say. I don't want. To, I just don't want to get in a fight. Well, we'll just talk to him and see what's going on. Okay. Maybe uh, we'll have some drinks later. We're in a slave trade. Right? <laughs> you want to drink to this guy? Uh, but I, I turn and I'm like, oh, Shabadon. You didn't see anything of a slave trade. I didn't see that. No. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Hey, Shabby, what up? Yeah. So Shabadon has now made his way to you guys, and he's like, Ryan, Lays, <laughs> wasn't expecting to see you down here. It is scary how easily you remembered us. <laughs> I know I, I remember everyone I meet. Good talent. <laughs> I also have a great history. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing down here? Just it's not the kind of place I'd expect to see you. To be honest, we just we saw some people come down here and we're like, we should go check it out. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You see a wall. You see someone walking through that wall. You're going to go through the wall. <laughs> do you mind telling me who you saw walk through it? Uh, you do I remember what the guy looked like? Yeah, the guy was a... Uh, the guy was a gnome who had a party hat, a party <laughs> hat on. <laughs> We're going to get this party on. He had like a it. green vest on as well. And... Uh, Red shoes. Do I see him? He's probably gonna He's out. in the we'll ring fighting. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, do it. That's how we got his family. Like, I rolled a perception, you said? Yeah. He just uh, came from his son's birthday party. Well, time to make some money. Fucking red. 21. 21. Uh, yeah, you see him, like, probably around, like, 100 feet away to, like, the northeast. I turn to show a dot, and I'm like, well, I could point him out. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? Oh, I just want to talk to him to make sure that he doesn't uh, allow people to see him go through the secret passageway again. So that's not good. Listen, man. Uh, I'm not a snitch. But it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want the uh, gnome there? Yeah, the gnome. No. Uh, thank you. <laughs> that's David. He's been a problem before. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. If you kill him, that's on my conscience. Please don't kill him. Oh, no, I wouldn't dream of killing him. Don't worry. Yeah, I totally <laughs> believe you. He was now just going to torture him. I'm now racked with incredible guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I have been assistant to manslaughter. Hmm. Well, we can just... I don't say this, but we can just help him escape later. <laughs> you know, but... Yeah, I'm feeling like that's not going to be a question. You know, the, David, he could be a, he could be a good... He could be a bad guy. So you might have just... Could bad guy. Just came know? from his son's birthday party. That's not canon, is it? 
And do you guys also believe that this is the black market? Black that would market. make sense. Yeah, I kind of guessed. But yeah. yeah. Uh, I turned to Chabadon I'm like, uh, but yeah, so how you been, buddy? What's up? Uh, I've been better. There's a lot of shit that's, <laughs> that's going down. A lot of people are unhappy and some people are trying to take it out on the king. Well, why are they unhappy? They seem to think that there's a unfairness in life and that the king is, should be able to change that, which he can't. Communism. I've heard about it before. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the Red Scare. <laughs> but, uh, uh um, I turn and I say, like, uh, honestly, uh, we don't want any trouble. Like, uh, should we even stick around then? You think things are gonna get a little testy? I I don't know if anything will come of the these fighters or these people who are wanting change. Freedom fighters? Not really freedom fighters, because this isn't for freedom or anything, because they are free. Just enslaved by the chains of capitalism. But they're free. This guy gets it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was deep. Uh, but, uh, okay. These uh, do not reflect, reflect my own personal views. Is there anything we can do to help you out? If you want to try to calm down these miscreants, then that could be very helpful to me. Well, to the king, I guess. It'd be a little hard to calm down literally hundreds of people. You underestimate the power of my soothing voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they must have a leader somewhere. I I personally don't know who their leader is. Do you have any ideas? That's a surprise. I don't. He's, he has escaped my knowledge so far. Well, if he's hiding from you, I don't know how much chance we'll have of finding him. Who knows? Most people know me around here, so ah, that's a good point. sometimes people want to avoid me for reasons. Do you feel lonely? No. Oh. I'm pretty happy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about your personal problems with us? Listen, man. <laughs> but, uh, if you ever want to join our band of adventure... <laughs> I think befriending chef. Actually, I do have a question. I turn, I'm like, listen, uh, we'll do our best. You know, the last thing we want is a civil war and all that. But uh, I have a favor. Uh, do you know where I can find uh, Torian, the beast snack? Torian, uh, that name rings a bell. He's a dwarf? Dwarf. Changing hair colors. Ah, like him. Like puppet shows with his hands yes. in the shadows. Yes, uh, yeah, uh, you can probably find him at, I think he might be staying at the inn right now. One of the inns. So, I think it is the, uh, you can probably find him at the Paradise Inn. Paradise. Either there or the, uh, tavern that is near there. All right, uh, we'll let you get back to your totally legal activities. Uh, don't worry, we won't tell anyone about the wall. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, if you happen to find out who's leading this rebellion, if that's what it is, then please let me know, and some good may come of it. Uh, before we go, I am going to approach David. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be like, I'm just going to grab your shoulder. In my weird outfit, I'm gonna be like, Mr. Man. Are you trying to be stealthy, like going to him? Because Travadon might see you going to him. No, I'm not being stealthy. Okay. Uh, I'm walking right up and I grab his shoulder and I'm like, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just. Wow. <laughs> uh, he's just confused by this and just like, What? He's what? Glad, what he's, do you mean, what? What? And then you leave and he's, he doesn't see you, so he's like, Whatever. And he's grabbed by two hooded men and <laughs> dragged into a room. <laughs> Fucking David, we've talked about this. <laughs> uh, so I'll go back to uh, Lazarus, Baron, and Aelrindal. So you guys are uh, in Isidore's house. You've brought the king in. Uh, Isidore gasped, gasped when she saw who the dead body was. And she'll ask you guys, uh, <coughs> This is the king of, of Ranchas? Is it not? I. That's a solid maybe. Uh, what happened, if you don't mind me asking? 
Because you guys have brought two dead, like, royal people oh. here, so that's father not pretty son, good. I guess. Yeah, yeah that's father a... and son. I liked how she addressed me as royal. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to have a problem with uh, killing royal people. Uh, except when we were in Avranches, uh, the Shardana attacked. Have you the, ever heard uh, of the Shardana? Who? Imagine mermaid people that come from the sea and wipe out all everything they encounter. Oh, well, like they they wiped out all the Avranches, or they assaulted Avranches and no one is alive. Oh, uh, do you know where they're heading? Are they heading here? Because you should probably <laughs> tell the king that they may be heading here. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you might want to go to the king about this. Uh, because that doesn't sound very nice. Even if we do tell the king about this, there is nothing they can do. We witnessed their invasion and it was a massacre. Yeah, I guess if Ranches hasn't been taken ever, so yeah, uh, that's not good. Uh, do you think there's anywhere we could, like, move to that could <laughs> get us away from them? Definitely out of the city. <laughs> okay. Um, Thanks. It's great. Right. Right. I hear, I hear nice Maul is a good, good this, time, this year around. <laughs> Maul brings the dead king. She's like, I'll revive it. What happened? Impending doom. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Not much, you know, just... Tony, you do know that uh, the Sardana are somewhere probably near Mall, because you know that's pr- like around pretty far south west of where you're at right now, and you got kind of know whereabouts that is. Okay, that's so, sweet. Do you have like, do you know where Artemis is all the time? That's what one thing with our revenant. We might have to nerf it a little bit, so like maybe mm-hmm. I don't know exactly. Just you know, so the direction, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, that would be kind of a little OP by just Think of it like yeah. Captain Jack Sparrow's compass. Cool. Points him in a direction, Except and then Jack has to figure out the not nearly as useful. Yeah. Anyway, this <laughs> off topic. Uh, was Avranches there the first city they attacked? Or yeah. have any other cities... Do you know of any other cities have been attacked yet? There was another one, wasn't there? Yeah, Summersdale. Yeah, Summersdale got fucked up. They also they attacked first. Summersdale. And there's no one left there? No. It's completely empty. Like, all the bodies were... Were all the bodies just like... It's a ghost town now. It seems oh. that they uh, kill whoever's in charge and then take the bodies and take them with them somewhere. We don't know. Did, did they, they didn't actually kill all the people. They just like put them on their, brought them on their ships. And I said they killed the leader. Yeah. yeah, but then they, you said all the bodies. It made it sound like they just killed it. No, it's not a man. No. <laughs> Stop interrupting, Duncan. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so you have no idea where they might have gone to? Not sure. We're, we we, we assume that they're on the boats, but you you didn't actually see them go like the Dude. civilians on the boats. Oh, okay. Like you saw them go into that portal, but you didn't see where that portal went to. Well, they. They went into the portal. You, you did see something about the depths. Yeah. You, did, you right. don't. You're not positive if that's where they went or anything, but you did see the depths in the crystal ball. Well, listen up, girly. Um, I, know, <laughs> I know they're near mall. We saw them all go into a portal, mind you. They were still alive. That's a plus, but uh, we don't know exactly where they went. Uh, we know that the depths have something to do with this. Depths. Uh. Okay, uh, it's at least something helpful. You can try and run, but I'm assuming that if they want to find you, they will find you. Uh, so are you heading to the depths? Is that where you're going? I think after this, we're headed to Maul, because that's where Artemis is. Okay. So where he is, is probably your rest of his crew. I mean, he seems Cowboy. pretty powerful. I don't know if you could take... <laughs> Like, I'll I don't say that to him. To say this, but I don't know <laughs> if you guys could take him on no, just no, by no, yourself. No, no. Second time's a charm. <laughs> Currently, our main goal is just to bring this king back 
And then, yes, we need to figure out how to get into the depths. Um, I don't like how you put in quotes the king. <laughs> well, he <laughs> died. he is a king. Yeah, but he's dead. What kind of king I, just I dies guess, so easy? I guess that's a good point. He needs a little more, you know, oomph <laughs> to his kick. <laughs> you mean he needs to be alive? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, as soon as your friends come by, I'll revive him. Again, it'll Good. take a little t- bit of time. Whoa. Uh, I'm sure they'll have the diamonds. By the way, where, so, I mean, where are they? If you could start now. No idea. <laughs> we <laughs> enter the room! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, if you do want to know something about the depths, I think there's a dwarf in the city named Torian, or Beastnack. Who's at the Paradise Inn? Who might know something about it? Paradise Inn. Yeah. All right. All right. <sighs> and right. he's hard to miss. His hair changes, and he but he doesn't talk. Is he a friendly fellow? He is. Yeah. Good. I would have told you about him. Farron, do you want to go check it out? Well, well we should wait till the king is king is back alive. Right. It would probably be good to have you guys here while the king is here. Just in case anything happens. Just in case he dies. (laughs) Keep in mind that Shevado's men are probably watching us. We don't want the chance of them bursting in mid-magic. Exactly. Uh, So I think if you guys stay here, it might be for the best. Right. We will stay here. Um, Someone should go check on our two pals that have the diamonds, supposedly. Right. Yeah, but for me, your guys's is, your guys is like interaction with Shabadab would have been a little bit longer. Than yeah, just get yeah, in there, right? True, true. Most likely, they've already ran into Shabadab. Well, shit. You're so depressing. <laughs> I mean, he's pr- he's probably right. Uh, Shabadab does happen to get into contact with people he wants to get into contact with. So, in other words, they we don't have diamonds anymore, right? You guys have no faith in this. <laughs> yeah, you guys just feel like you just died or something? Like, so, uh, one king turns into three people. Uh, was there anything else you ought to do in this house or right now until these guys come back? Um, I mean, how far away is the, the castle? The main castle would probably be about a 20 minute walk. I'm going to just keep an eye out through the windows every now and then do a little peeking, make sure. Okay. No one's trying to approach. Uh, so, uh, as you like peek through the windows, you do you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Really. Okay. You just notice that there are more guards patrolling, uh, kind of random bands of like the poor, quote unquote. And things called poor people. As well <laughs> as some people you assume are Shabbat men just walking around. Okay. They don't seem to be looking specifically for anyone. But they are walking around in like more numbers than before. All right. Uh, was there anything else you guys want to do before I go back to these guys? No, that's no. what I'll be doing from time to time, and I'll be looking out for these two. Okay, I think. Back. I think I should go look for a. Uh, Not snack. all. Okay. No. And find out about snack. the devs because we're waiting anyway. But. We're not supposed to leave. Yeah, you're supposed to stay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Behave yourself, Tony. <laughs> we, need to, we need to get to mall. Yeah, I'm just going to wait around then, I guess. Okay. In, well, we're going to be there right away. Can we, we convince your character that it's better to stick with us so he's not just trying to run off on his own all the time? I'm not going to run off on my own all the time. Yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to get us to Arden. Like, okay. I shoved you through a window. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go back to Blaze and Ryan. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to do in the black market or in the exchange <laughs> before you left? Uh, you know, this, scene, this place seems real fun. I actually wouldn't mind coming back sometime, but I guess we're kind of on a time crunch, so we should probably kick it. Go tell the officer. They go through that one. No, I just <laughs> told Shavada I wouldn't. Like, I don't want to get murdered. <laughs> Why am I talking to my character voice? You're not here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'll turn to Ryan and I'll be like, okay, hey, let's go. We, uh, we've wasted enough time. I agree. Let's go. All right, uh, we'll make our way back to the doors. Okay. Uh, so you leave the exchange and you make your way back. And uh, just roll a insight check to see if you know the way well. <laughs> 20? 12. 
Uh, 20? Yeah, again, you're basically like, take a left at 25th Avenue and go straight for 500 meters. I am your built-in Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> and you get there in record time. Like, if this is a race, somehow, you, if you were the tourist, you would have still won. You would have slaughtered their hair. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then you, I'm assuming you guys knock at Isadora's door. Yeah, uh, I, I do like a, <laughs> like a. Did I see them approach before? Uh, roll a perception check. Yeah, and I have to roll stealth because I'm wearing my my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> see Ryan, but he's that a real weirdo. With my I rolled a twenty-four. Okay, well he yeah he's pr- I probably don't see him. I got sixteen perception. <laughs> Yeah, so you down. see uh, Ryan, and with him you see a tabaxi wearing a lime green boiler hat, a zebra overcoat, a green scarf, black scarf, black scarf and thigh high boots. Thigh high boots. No, no, just no. Okay. boots. <laughs> yeah, just that stuff. And you're like, who's this creep? <laughs> um, me. Lovecraft would notice me. Oh, would and. Is Lovecraft with the YouTube? No, I left him with the cart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Kind of awkward to take a wolf yeah. and exchange. Sick him, boy. This is a stick up. <laughs> uh, so you have noticed that they are here, so are you just going to open the doors to them when they come by? Uh, well, Ryan's walking with a total stranger to me, so. um. Oh my god. <laughs> it, is, it is Ryan. It's me. So. Is that what Ryan says? Open the door. <laughs> Open the fucking door. Well, who, who's the who's the Brandon with you? I don't know. He's just been following me around. <laughs> well, I don't like that. We have a very serious issue going on in here. Hey, don't worry. It's, it's actually me, your old friend. He's been saying that this whole time, but I don't believe him. Blaze? Anyway, he seems cool. Let's just let him inside. I take the boy out of him. I'm like, surprise. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I open the door. Okay. <laughs> I uh, told you, it's some a sick master role play. Play. Yeah, bro. Impressive, very impressive. A master of master of master. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so Isidore will agree to you and say, Oh, well, welcome back. Uh, it's nice to see you guys again, but I guess it's under dire consequences. It's really, when you think about it, it's good to see you, but it's also never good to see you because you always come, we always come for the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Die. Somebody will come visit just to have tea. <laughs> Probably not. I welcome when you do. Dire. Uh, you have the diamonds? I give her the diamonds. Excellent, excellent. And uh, she'll take them and she'll say, uh, I will start the ritual now if that's all good, good with you. It should take... One hour. And... <laughs> uh... <laughs> That was fucking dumb. That's a a beauty of editing. Um, Well, uh, listen, guys, uh, I'll turn to the rest and we're like, Ryan and I, uh, we found Shavada. Real cool guy. He's actually, yeah, he's actually super nice, but also in a way where I could tell that it wasn't real nice. Just like fake nice. Yeah, he didn't seem to care at all that we helped his, uh, those people escape. He didn't even bring it up. Good for us, I guess. Good yeah. Uh, he told us about an impending revolution. Uh, he also told us where we can find Beast Snack. And Blaze condemned this gnome to death. <laughs> it was an accident! What? I didn't mean to. Also, we found the black market. Hey, we oh, probably well, that's have a problem to say anything about that. That would be useful to know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I don't say that because I keep my promises, even if it's to someone like Shadow Dog. <laughs> nice. He's not our friend. He's not not our friend. He hasn't done anything wrong. You're corrupt. Us. Not us directly, but fucking down. <laughs> well, you know, we'll deal with that when it comes. I just stab it. I just think that's funny because you're like, no, I can't. Be- I can't between Shadow and Dog. Like in your head, he's like, I can't. I think you promised him. I think you promised him. But no, yeah, no, if uh, I'd seen I, those kids, it'd be a whole different deal. Yeah. But I didn't, so wow. it's cool. But uh, I do inform them that Beast Knight is at Paradise Inn. And uh, how long is the we, ritual? Like, probably like a few hours? That. It yeah. is... One hour. Let's go with an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'd say, I'm like, uh, should we stay here? Or do you think we should go get Shabadaw while she's reviving the king? 
Or Shepard Dub. We should go get these snacks. <laughs> these snacks while she's reviving the king. I Someone guess. should be protecting her while she's yep. doing the ritual. I Lazarus? Think, uh, <laughs> I think Farron and L- <laughs> Elrendel should stay here. And Excuse the me? The three of us can go and... Nah, it's your turn. It's your turn to babysit. <laughs> I, just go to, I just go to the door. I've been <laughs> sitting here for a long Shit. time. Well, I, I'm gonna go because I actually know Beast Snack. Like, firstly, we're friends, so if I don't go, it'd be well, it's just mean guys. Come on, he's my friend. Well, if we need to talk away out of a situation, I'm very good at that. Why not? Yes, I am. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! You just just found some war magic on me. I've never felt so compelled in my life. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm gonna go because I want to see Beast Snack. Yeah, so you're going to see Beast Snack. Beast Snack. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm going. Gonna go. I'm also gonna go. Ryan, you're I, staying with the. Dead I don't want to just stay so cooped up in here. <laughs> <laughs> you're the toughest one of us all, Lazarus. Lazarus, you. Drop kick two swords and lands <laughs> pectorals. You're yeah, our best chance of keeping this king alive. Fair point. That was probably the most badass thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. So if anyone can protect this witch lady, it's you. Is that insulting? What? Witch lady? Kind of is. I kind of drew her like a witch. <laughs> That's blazing. <laughs> is she here though? Uh, she is too, too concentrated on the ritual. Nah, man, we you try tickling her right now. I'm playing an insensitive <laughs> character, okay? It doesn't matter. Let's, anyway, let's go see Beast Stan. I guess I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Imagine if we all just left, like she turns, looks around, and we're all just gone. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for our next episode of Nat 20.